You're probably familiar with the library browser window that allows you to scan through your installed libraries and select blocks to drag and drop into your models. Starting in release 22b, there are some major changes in the library browser that I'm going to guide you through in this video. By default, now whenever you open the library browser, it will appear docked as a panel in the Simulink window. This allows you to drag and drop blocks into your model without having to worry about positioning the library browser interface so it doesn't hide important parts of the window. You still have the familiar tree of libraries and sublibraries to browse through, but now the blocks you are browsing appear directly interleaved in the tree. You can even expand multiple libraries at the same time without having to continually open and close them as you move around. You can resize the panel and the blocks will flow to match the width of the window. However, you can also choose to view the blocks as a single column list rather than a grid of icons in order to save horizontal space. When you pause your mouse over a block, it will show a tooltip with a short description of its functionality. You can right-click on a block to bring up a context menu of options, such as adding a block directly to the model without having to drag and drop, or opening the Simulink documentation for any block type. And you can bring up a block parameters dialog box if you're curious what parameters a particular block supports. Finally, by default, the library browser displays blocks in alphabetical order. However, many libraries are constructed to show related blocks next to each other. You can change the default order to display these related blocks next to each other, such as the input and output blocks, or the bus blocks shown here. You have access to search functionality that will allow you to quickly locate a block you are looking for with just a keyword or two. The search results appear in the search results tab. To continue browsing, click the library tab. The new docked library browser supports all the same customizations as the standalone version. So if you have customizations such as adding your own libraries, hiding other libraries and reordering libraries, it will appear here. If you want to reposition the docked library browser, click and drag it to the bottom, left or right of the Simulink window and drop it when the blue rectangle appears. And if you prefer the old standalone library browser window, you can still open and use that as well. We think that you will like the new docked library browser and that it will have a positive impact on your productivity and enjoyment of building your simulate models.